Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I like to edit and take my pictures for Instagram. So let's get started. The main thing that you're going to need is a tripod. This is what I use all the time to take my pictures that aren't like selfies or mirror selfies. So I got this off of Amazon a couple years ago. It was like $25 and it's just been the best thing ever. I'm going to set it up now and just show you how I use it. Okay, so it's about like the same height as me almost. So I think it's like five feet tall probably. And this is just what it looks like in the mirror. And it just stands up on its own. I lost one of the little things on it because it broke off the one day. What's nice is that it comes with this little remote that you can attach to the side. And this is also another important part because this is how you can take pictures without having to put it on self timer and have to take it yourself. So this is Bluetooth enabled. So you can just turn it on and then it lights up there and you can charge this with a regular USB charger, it goes in the side right there. And yeah, so basically you just press this button to obviously take a picture, it looks like a little camera. So I use this all the time for filming videos. And this is the way I will lay it when I'm filming because I want it to be horizontal because that's how videos are typically viewed. But when I take pictures, I obviously flip it the other way, which you can do it right on here. It turns down like this. I'm set up basically in my picture mode. The other day I took pictures wearing this outfit, I put it back on so that I could kind of show you how I take them. Obviously I was looking better the other day because I was more awake. It's early, and I'm tired, and I look rough. Well, I will move everything out of the background because I don't want really the toothbrush and everything to be the focus. I would rather be my outfit and this background that I have here with the shelves and the flowers. I always like to have the flash on whenever I take pictures just because I feel like it gives you better quality. I will just hold my little remote here. There are many different ways you can do it. You can obviously, I think in the picture I took, I was like off to the side so my hand wasn't in the picture and I was holding it in my right hand. You could put your hand on your hip to hide it. One thing I learned on TikTok was putting it on the floor which is actually really smart. I did that with another picture that I had. So you could just put it on the floor and tap it with your foot. You don't want to be like having it shown off so just hide it somewhere like this and then you can just take your picture you just keep pressing the button and it will take pictures while you are standing here i take a couple hundred pictures and then as i'm taking them i will go to my phone and check just to make sure that i like how my hair looks or like make sure the background's okay and then i just kind of go through them a little bit quickly to see if there's possibly a couple that i like and then I move on to editing. To also take mirror selfies, which I'm gonna show you how I edit a mirror selfie. I always like to have it in this, what is this, vertical position. Cause I do sometimes take it like this, but for Instagram, I feel like it looks a lot better when you're this way. Just close the door. Personally, I would rather see the picture frames versus the door. I don't like to stand too close. I mean, you can if you wanna be up close and personal, but I like to stand a little bit further back. And then just put a leg forward, put a hand on the hip, maybe your hair, wherever. I also do like to take mirror selfies where like the focus is the outfit versus my face. <laughs> I'm not really into taking regular face selfies with like a front facing camera because girl, we don't be looking that good. <laughs> Typically my top two ways of how I like to take my pictures with a tripod or just a mirror selfie. And yeah, so I'm going to show you how I edit a mirror selfie now that I'm going to post. It's probably posted already by the time I share this video. So here we go. So once we have taken our pictures, I just like to go now into my photos. So I already went through and deleted all of the photos that I took because I took, I don't even know how. All of these ones I already deleted, they just don't make the final cut, sorry. So now we're left these last five. After I have decided what pictures I'm trying to work with, I like to use this app called Preview. Basically, this is just literally a preview of what your Instagram feed will look like. Currently, this is what my feed looks like. Some of these pictures aren't edited exactly the same as how my Instagram photos look but it still gives me the idea of what my pictures are. This is the app and then and then my Instagram just looks like this. So you can see how it copies it without having to post on Instagram. I'm just going to open all of the photos that I want to possibly use and here we go. It loads them into this. And I also like this app because a lot of the time you might have pictures that your head might get cut out a little bit. This one obviously was intentional. But sometimes if you crop it too much, then your head will be cut out. This one was a little close, but 
I also like that this app for that reason. Just like to compare my pictures and see if they match similar ones, if it's identical to another one. So this picture is very similar to the, this one as well because the main focus is my outfit and the mirror. So I don't really want to post one that looks like that yet. So I'm just going to delete that one. So now we're left to the last four. These pictures a little bit more closely. I'm not crazy about that one. This one, I'm not crazy about that one either. Yeah, I just like to go through and see which one I like the best. And then from there, I'll start editing it with the filter and everything. All right, so I feel like it always comes down to like the last two pictures. So it's between these two. I'm probably going to wind up posting this one, honestly. So what I do now is I open Lightroom. I used Visco for a while, and then people are saying Lightroom's a lot better because it's kind of like Photoshop. Um, so, okay. I feel like I'm very used to Visco, which is kind of crazy because I used to use Photoshop so much because I was really into editing pictures for Tumblr of like One Direction. I should make a video talking about my obsession with One Direction because it was the most unhealthy fucking toxic thing relationship I ever, I think I was ever in probably top two so anyways I used to use that to edit gifs and stuff and photos of Harry Styles but I just was very used to using visco because I could copy and paste the filters all the time on here I think you have to pay to do that which I don't really if I made money off of Instagram then maybe I would pay to do it but Personally, I just don't see a use for that yet. I like to mess around with this sometimes. I'm not crazy about this picture though as I'm editing it. I think I'm just gonna edit the other one. I like this one a lot more. I don't know why. I feel like it looks better. There's more color. And I feel like the quality just looks a lot better too. I don't know. I always wonder if people like zoom in on my pictures and like critique how I look. Probably. I know my mom does of all people. She picks my pictures apart. I really don't know what I'm doing. A lot of the time I'll edit in another app and then still use a filter on Instagram and just turn it down a little bit. I'm just going to go with this. Don't judge me. I know some of you might be cringing that I should have done something different, but whatever. I'm just going to share it now to my camera roll, export it, and then I'm just going to go back to preview just so that I can see one more time how it's going to look. So there we go. And I feel like it looks really pretty. I think. I don't know. I like how the light looks. So usually I don't post on Instagram as soon as I edit. I do have a habit of saving pictures for a later time. It's the weekend right now. A lot of people really aren't on Instagram. I notice with my insights, usually the engagement is down. The best day for me I noticed to post is Monday. So I posted this. Um, this was Monday Night Football. Giants were playing. And I think this is like one of my most liked pictures. I like to kind of stick to posting once a week just because I don't have that much content to post currently because I don't really do anything. But anyways, so what I like to do is just get my picture all ready to be posted. And at least in the meantime, I can think of a caption because I feel like captions are always my hardest part on posting pictures. I just never know what to write. I don't like to put the full filter. I feel like it's too much. So I like to just mess around with one of these and then just turn it down a lot. See, it's like the littlest difference. I'm just going to tag my outfit. All these random ass people showing up. I don't know any of you. In the meantime, I'm just going to save it as a draft. And then that way it's just ready for me to post whenever I feel like posting it. And there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed my little tutorial. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.